Hello! In this video, we will be solving a forecasting problem using double exponential smoothing, or otherwise known as exponential smoothing with a trend. It's called double exponential smoothing because we have two quantities that we are averaging or adjusting or smoothing each time. So we start out, we calculate a new value f, which I will refer to as the level, and it comes from the previous forecast, including the trend from last period, plus alpha, our smoothing constant for the level, times the error term from last time. So that's the actual last time minus the forecast, including the trend last time, the prediction about what we really expected to happen last period. So we update that, and then to calculate our new estimate of the trend, we take the old estimate of the trend plus delta times this new f that we just calculated, and we put that into this formula and subtract off the forecast including the trend. So here, it's the difference between what we expected to happen last time, most recent period, and the new level of the, the level. So how much that's changing is going to tweak our estimate of the growth rate of the trend. So once we have updated those two quantities, then we will calculate a new value for the forecast including the trend, what we really think is going to happen in the subsequent period. So we're going to do an example here. Uh, let's say that our smoothing coefficient, smoothing term for the level is alpha of 0.2, and for the trend our delta value is 0.3, and our value for the level from last period is 228. Our most recent estimate of the trend is 10. The forecast including the trend for the most recent period will get that, as always, by adding the two most recent uh, values, the level plus the trend. So since we had 228 as our most recent value for the level, and then we had 10 as our most recent value for the trend, we add those two things together, and we had a forecast including the trend of 238 for the most recent period. Now, unfortunately for us, the actual demand in the most recent period was 230. So demand was less than we expected, so let's see how that plays out as we move forward. Uh, what you might expect is that since the actual was less than we predicted, it's going to drive our estimate of the trend is to be a little bit lower, and that's exactly what we're going to see happen. So we have three steps, the level, the trend, and then the forecast including the trend for the next period. So we start out with um, the level, F, and since we have F5 from the last period, now we're going to be calculating F6. And so to do that, we need the forecast including the trend from period 5, and that was, we saw down here, 238. And then we need to add on to that alpha, and we're using alpha value of 0 0.2, and I'll multiply times the actual in 5, and the actual in 5 was 230. And then we will subtract off the forecast, including the trend, that 238. So we have 238 plus 0.2 times, and then we have 230 minus 238, which obviously that gives us a negative 8. So negative 8 times 0.2 is like subtracting off 1.6. So we get as our new level here, I'm going to put this in blue to try to keep my color coding going as long as it can. Uh, that will be 236.4. That's our new estimate of the level. All right. So now on to the trend. To get the new trend, we take the old trend. The old trend was 10. So we have 10 plus then our delta value is 0.3. So we have 0.3 times the F value that we just calculated, 236.4. And then we'll subtract off from that the forecast including the trend from period 5, which was 238. So our new trend is 10 plus, and now we have 236.4 minus 238, so that is negative 1.6. Negative 1.6 times 0.3 
is 0.48, so we're going to subtract off 0.48, so we have 9.52 as our new estimate of the trend. All right, we're in the home stretch. So to get our new forecast, including the trend, we're going to take our most recent level and we're going to take our most recent trend, add those two together. So 236.4 plus 9.52 gives us 245.92. And now if you want to know what's going to happen in period 7, it's simple. Just add on another period's worth of growth. So the forecast, including the trend for period 7, is 245.92 plus 9.52. So that gives us 255. So, um, if your boss asks you, what's the forecast for period 6, we can give it to them. And if they ask us for the period 7 forecast, we can give it to them. And if they want to know further into the future, just add more periods worth of growth on. And that's how we get the answer. So, there was exponential smoothing with the trend, also known as double exponential smoothing.